Language of maps. Maps are very handy to carry and they help in learning about the earth. To read a map correctly and accurately, it is necessary to understand the language of a map. Every map has colors, directions, signs, symbols and scale. This is called the language of the map. Directions. There are four major directions which have been universally accepted. They are North, South, East and West. The countries all over the world use the same systems of directions. All maps follow the same system of showing directions. The top direction is the North. South is in the direction opposite to the North. To our right is the east and to our left is the west. Subdirections. Once you have grasped the concepts of directions, it is easy to find the subdirection. Between the two major directions north and east lies the subdirection northeast. In the same way, between north and west lies the northwest and so on. There are four major subdirections, that is, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. Scale. For example, the actual distance between Delhi and Kolkata is about 1400 kilometers on the ground. But on the map, the distance between the two cities is reduced to just a 14 centimeter. So we can say that a distance of 100 kilometers is represented by a distance of 1 centimeter on the map. This is called the scale of the map. Scale can be defined as the ratio between the distance on the map and the distance on the ground. A map without a scale is called a sketch. There are two ways of showing the scale on a map. One centimeter is equal to 100 kilometers, which means that a distance of one centimeter on the map represents 100 kilometers on the ground. By means of a line, see the figure. The line is divided into many parts. Each part of the line shows some ground distance. It is marked on the scale. Conventional signs or symbols. Many types of signs and symbols are used to show various kinds of information on map. For example, a metal road is depicted by two straight lines. A capital city is marked on a map by a small circle enclosed within a bigger circle. If we memorize these conventional symbols, they help us to read information given on maps. Colors. Different colors are used to show various landforms on a map. Maps usually follow same pattern of colors. Water bodies like oceans, rivers, seas and lakes are shown in blue color on a map. Green color depicts plains or lowlands. Mountains and highlands are shown in brown. Plateaus are marked in yellow. This key shown here is used in every country of the world. See the map showing the scheme of color.